So here's another practice question for basic probability. And if you'd like to learn a bit more about the theoretical concepts, there'll be a video in the description below, but pause the video, have a read of the question, and I'll answer it in a few seconds. Cool, so once again, I'm gonna construct for myself this joint probability distribution, noting that there are four outcomes of this first season of the new show. Either it's a huge success, a moderate success, it breaks even or it's a loser. And there are two possible outcomes for how the pilots received. So the first piece of the question tells us that 10% of new shows are huge successes in the first season. So again, that's a marginal probability. 10% goes in here. 20% are moderate successes. 40% break even and 30% are losers, totaling 100%. Now the next piece of information says that 99% of huge successes had a positive pilot reception. So much like the last example, in here, it's gonna be 99% of the huge successes. So 99% of this 0.1. So here I'm gonna write 0.099. So that is 99% of 10% effectively, 99% of 0.1 leaving this cell to be 0 0.001. Same thing goes here. 70% of moderate successes had a positive pilot reception. So that's 0.7 times 0.2, meaning this is 0.06. 40% of those that break even have positive pilot receptions. So that's 0.16, meaning that this must be 0.24, just making sure that adds up to a total of 0.4. And of the losers, we know that 20% of this 30% received positive pilot feedback. So that's 0.2 times 0.3, giving us 0.06. So if we want, we can sum up that column. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of Excel help here to do so. So that's 0.459 and that's 0.541. So once again, I've got my table all sorted and I haven't even bothered reading the questions yet because having done this table I can now answer whatever they're going to throw at me. So the probability of getting positive feedback on the pilot is simply the sum of that left hand column which is 0.459. It's as simple as that. It was asking for a marginal probability and we can just read it off the table. Now the second question is a bit more interesting. It asks us for the new probabilities of each outcome if we know that the pilot was received well. So here is where the pilot has been received positively. And just like last time, we're gonna black out the rest of the table as we're only focusing on this column. So I can create for myself a conditional set of probabilities. So this is the probability of each of these success outcomes given there's a positive pilot reception. The first one's gonna be 0.099 divided by 0.459. The next one's gonna be 0.14 divided by 0.459 etc, etc. So it totals one. So what this means is that if the pilot has was received well, these are our new probabilities of the first season being successful. Before we knew how the pilot was received, these were the probabilities of the show being successful. But now it's this. So you can see that we've got a higher probability of it being successful if we know that the pilot was received well.